All right, so we're at Indy RC World, but we're not shooting anything racing related. We're shooting something I've actually, it's kind of weird, kind of unique, and I'll show you why. What is up, guys? My name is Mark Centimere. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, we got a new one today. It's a truck, but... It has something that's very unique that's super interesting. No, we're not driving on the track. We're actually right down the street. Indy is actually right down the street from one of the coolest crawling spots in the DFW Metroplex. So after we unbox this thing, we're gonna go crawling. I just gave it away. God dang. Here it is, guys. The Enduro Zoll Trail Truck. Is it Zoll or Zool? This thing is super sick. So there's a couple of unique things about this car. First off, it's IFS2. That means it's independent front suspension. I guess the two is maybe the second gen, but check that out. Scratch and weather body. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's take a look at all these box panels. So on the front, it has this really cool photo of the truck. Look at that body. It looks patinaed, so sick. Enduro trail truck on the top. It shows us some chassis features. Stealth transmission, trailing arm, rear suspension, shock mount inserts. Look at those shocks, those look like aluminum shocks, very nice. It has a 550 motor. This isn't a 12 scale one. This isn't one that has that 380 motor. It has a full size 550 motor. Fly Sky ESC receiver unit. That means there's no receiver. The ESC and receiver are one. Yeah, ask me why I would point that out because I missed that up before. Rear anti roll bar. Interesting. What? I've actually never seen a roll bar on a crawler, always on race vehicles. Then it has some write ups up here on top, more of the additional features and specifications. I won't read all these out loud, but I'll show you guys so you can see it. Oh God, it's mega glare. On the bottom, it has more picks, profile pick, a rear pick. Look at this, some articulation there. Looks like it comes with method race wheels. That's cool. I'm sure they're plastic, but maybe, maybe they're metal. I don't know. We'll find out when I bust it open. There's that scratch and weather body. More additional features. Really cool box panel shows some additional angles of the truck. I like those. KC highlights, those are nice. On this panel, it has some of the option parts you can get. Looks like you can get the steel pivot balls, steel wheel hexes, aluminum spur gear hubs, machined ring and pinion gear set, and then aluminum shock set. So maybe it doesn't come, they look aluminum to me. Then it has it in different languages, but check out that angle. God, I can't wait. Here's a shot of the side of the box. Check that out. Really cool angle. God, that body looks sick. Look at those wheels. It looks like it has little red lockers on the back. That's kind of cool. The other side of the box. Look at that. That is a mean pose. No other colorways. Looks like it's just this color and then you can scratch and weather the body. All right, let's bust this thing open. Oh, man. Very nice. Oh, dang. All right, as for a proper unboxing, we have some spare parts here. Looks like a battery tray. Maybe if you want to run the longer battery. Looks like it's equipped to run a shorty pack right now. And then some other parts. Looks like shock parts. Maybe a I don't know what that gear is. Uh, but anyways, option parts. And then also has the owner's manual. And then a nice set of stickers. Check those stickers out. They got some really cool stickers. Look at that. that, looks like Pepsi. That looks like MTV. I mean, those all look super cool. It has the new Fly Sky radio. I'm glad that they're putting this radio in here. It's very easy to adjust. I love the adjustable, oh, you can't even see it. The toggles on the remote. That way you can change your drag brake on the fly. And then as for the truck, check out how beautiful this truck is. This truck looks so good. So I already started, <laughs> I already started scratching the side, so Basically, I think you just take some sandpaper and just kind of scratch the side off. If you just go crawling, I'm sure it's like natural patina look, but I'm actually gonna take some sandpaper and rub some off. I think it looks super cool. But here is the truck. I love the LCG, how low it is. Um, oh my God, it's stuck on there. Here's the independent front suspension. So it kind of looks like a normal basher or a race buggy on the front, which is interesting. Look at that on the bottom there independent front suspension. You don't see that on a crawler very often at all. Usually it's a straight axle on the front. Uh, let's see, they do seem locked. The discs do seem locked. So you'll still get good performance from a crawling perspective. This is just kind of a dummy winch. There's not actually a winch there. Although this does spin, very interesting. Sweet tires. So I think these are plastic, but they are method wheels, which 
they're licensed, very, very cool. Also licensed tires, very nice. That is still just kind of wigging me out how independent front suspension. There's a top profile of the chassis there. Again, set up for a shorty pack at the moment. I think I have a battery that will work in there. If anything, I, I can change it out to the longer battery tray. But I like how there's not a whole bunch of extra stuff on this thing. It's kind of just a chassis, motor, and battery. That's how you want a solid crawler. Check out this rear sway bar. It's almost like, it almost kind of looks like a desert truck in the back. Super soft suspension. Looks like you're gonna get a lot of articulation. However, that sway bar does help kind of level it out. Very interesting. The suspension feels great, by the way. So the shock bodies are metal. However, they have plastic shock caps. There's your 550 motor. All right, you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about this thing. Let's charge some batteries up and go drive it. Guys, this is the first crawler I've ever driven where I didn't cringe every time I flipped it over. And the reason is it actually looks better when it gets scratched up. It has the patina look like I did a little bit right there on the back. You can kind of see the red come through. And the way it does it is the back side of the body is actually red. So when it scratches off, it's painted on the outside. When the paint on the outside scratches off, it gives it a cool patina look. So every time I flipped it over, I wasn't mad. I was more like, sweet, it's gonna look better now. It's weird. The harder you drive it, the better it looks. In regards to how it drives, it's a team associated. Element's the same thing. Team associated element, same thing. So it drives absolutely amazing. I did a little more research on the independent front suspension and there's a lot of advantages to it. It has a lot more ground clearance because there's not a big pumpkin in the front. I think it helps a whole bunch. The sway bar in the back, I, I don't know what it is that makes it crawl so well, but guys, this might be the best box stock crawler I've ever driven. Maybe even the best crawler period in regards to performance. I mean, there was nothing that I saw that I couldn't climb. Several times in that crawling session, I was really surprised. Like, oh my God, that thing's a beast. I said it out loud. I was like, that thing's a beast. It is a crawling machine. One of the things that makes it really good is it has a great approach angle. Like there were seldom times where I would hit the front bumper or the rear bumper. There's no rear bumper, by the way, but it has a great approach angle. So it can pretty much go almost, oh, look at that. So it's not hitting the bumper until I get to about that point right there 
which is absolutely insane. On the back, you can almost stand all the way up without hitting the back or anything on the back. So I didn't center, high center, or scratch, I mean, I scratched the bottom a little bit because I did hit some big rocks, but I rarely high centered, which makes this thing crawl over the rocks really well. And this was with stock tires. Imagine if I put like actual Pro-Line performance tires on here, aftermarket tires with some aftermarket foams. I bet you this thing would be unstoppable. I mean, I don't get it. Am I like easy to please? Like everything that's coming out lately is just awesome to me. This is probably gonna be my go-to crawler whenever I go to the creek because it did so well and it looks so freaking good. Now these small details on the side, they might, they might get ripped off after I flip over a few hundred times, but they didn't fall off yet. And look at that body. I mean, that thing just looks freaking sick. If you're looking for an extremely capable rock crawler, you can trail the thing too. I mean, we, we walked with it. it, it does just fine. It gets plenty of speed and we were running on 2S, so I imagine 3S would be a lot faster. But if you're just wanting to pull something out of the box and hit the creek and hang with all the guys that are crawling out there, this is it, seriously. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.